Welcome to Sunster Games, the place to find new strategy games and welcome to my guide on Unity of Command 2 on how to complete all the objectives in Lorraine. Now it's really interesting in Lorraine is actually the tooltip that it gives you is exactly what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to use the, your 7th army to auto supply the enemy and your 3rd army to take over mats. Now you have quite a lot of time until turn 6. So essentially what you want to be doing is you want to take the group over here and kind of push towards Saarbrücken. And then you want to take the group down here and push towards Strasbourg. I take some units move from the bottom to steal their supply hub and then some units move to over the top towards Sovereign Gap. And at latest on turn four, but you can do it earlier, you want to take over this hex and essentially kind of control sort of like this whole area. And why you want to do that is because the enemy get supply from area from this supply which gets supplied either from this supply railway or they have a supply source over here so you if you take over the supply that's good but more importantly if you sort of control this area then both mats and solatern is going to be out of supply and if you do that on turn four, then at turn six, they will not lose any steps yet because you don't need to do that three turns ahead, not just two, but they won't be able to attack and they will be fairly weak. So you should be able to take it over pretty easily. Now, as for the bottom, you essentially just want to quickly move towards Strasbourg. You won't be able to out of supply, but if you have a couple of infantry units here, maybe a tank, shouldn't be too much of a problem to take over. As for Sovereign Gap, you're going to have a lot of time there. You can out of supply if you control some of the hexes over here you can go straight at it use some things like suppressifier things like that set piece attacks depends on how it goes but out supplying is probably the easiest because you have a lot of time for that all right so let me show you how i did it welcome back from the tactics window and let me show you how i did it so first thing I did was I added some like steps that I had in reserves and also bought some additional steps just so all of my units around at least five steps, ideally six, you know, so that they're fairly strong. Bought some specialists where I could because why not? I'm mostly focusing on artillery. Same for the other HQ. Next up, I'm adding some bridges just so it's a bit easier for me to move. So wherever I see that there are no easy way to cross the river, I'm adding at least like one bridge, you know, everywhere so you can move to. Also notice that there are some broken bridges near Matt. So later on, you might want to focus on repairing them so that you get your own supply there once you're ready for that. Now here I was kind of checking the altar, but as you can see, the odds over the river are very, very bad. So we don't want to attack there. It's not really necessary. Like I said, the strategy is to outsupply the enemy. So I'm going to be using some suppressive fire, mostly to move the um, unit away. And the enemy has thankfully rear guard quite often in this mission. The enemy is rear guard, so it's a good idea to use things like suppressive fire just to check if they step away because that's going to give you some sort of a movement that will help you out. You can see I'm using it again. I'm trying to use suppressive fire to kill off some of the enemy units, you know, like use suppressive fire with one unit and then finish it off with another. And I'm repairing the bridge, like I said, so that my supply railway is fully connected. You want to push through the middle here towards Sarbrooken? because that will make it easier for you to also supply the enemy so that's where kind of like your main focus with abilities wise and things like that should be again using because i didn't have any good odds anywhere i'm just gonna try to use some of my abilities decided for set piece attack and then with the other unit i can try to finish them off again just like before now i got them cornered which is really good for me so i can hit them now even even more which is really good fortunately can't quite finish them off because the odds aren't good enough I really wanted to step into that empty place in front of Matt's, but I didn't have any sort of movement to get there. It would be nice if you could get that, but um, it wasn't the case for me. It 
His feint attack here was probably useless, but I had the point, so why not use it anyway? In general, I'm just trying to push forward, also make sure with the zone of control that the enemy cannot sort of run to my supply hub on Nancy or anything like that. Just, you know, kind of press forward, make a line so that they can move much. Just to use my air strike on this infantry here so I can push forward a little bit better next turn against the words are broken because that's the main focus. At this point, you didn't have to outsupply the enemy at all. That's all right. You've got time for that. I mean, he's falling backwards. They're hitting my tank. Which, and making it retreat, which is really not a big deal. I'm just gonna go straight back. Now, they did take that uh, sort of hex above mats, but I was able to kill off their unit pretty quickly, anyways. Now, this is again just me checking odds because you, you know, you wanna see like where could you do stuff. Yeah, I was looking like, you know, suppressive fire, but doesn't have very good odds on that one. So we're like, let's not use that. Now, this one, two is interesting, but we have a zero, two from us right now. I'm moving this infantry closer to Strasbourg and taking over their supply hub. This should help me, well, not quite unsupply them, but, you know, at least sort of like get some sort of ground to be able to move ahead and, you know, get some sort of control, zone of control. Yeah, I've realized that if I use suppressive fire on the tank, it should give me some pretty good stuff. It didn't really help that much, but it's a start. I try to use an airstrike to maybe be able to hit that tank. Unfortunately, the airstrike did literally no damage, so not great. So instead, I've chosen to go with some feint attacks and then with my tank to finish it off. Because like I said, I'm trying to push forward towards Starbrook and that's really important. And you do need to be there by turn 4, so you don't have like that much time to wait around. Like you don't have to like super hurry, but you also can kind of, you know, wait forever. I was trying to figure out, like, if I use either set piece attack or suppressive fire, will I be able to hit them in some sort of strong way? And, well, the ability worked, but it's not enough to me for me to be able to, like, kill off an enemy unit or something like that. So, it was a little bit of damage, but not much. And again, pressing towards our broker. Okay, I was trying to figure out how I could move as close to the supply bus possible. I was originally hoping that if I moved that tank there, the infantry in front of the enemy would have like range enough because I could sort of bypass the enemy zone of control to get towards the supply, but it wasn't enough anyways. Then I simply checked like the area of my HQ, but it it's in range of everything, so we don't really need to move it or anything like that. And I managed to outsupply the enemy unit that's kind of surrounded in the middle near the tank and the supply hub next to Sover Gap. So that's nice, but um, yeah, it's not like a main goal or anything. I'm hitting my tank, that's fine. I now managed to stall their supply. Quite nice. And make a lot of the units down um, below Sover Gap out, out, supply, out of supply, which is really nice. And then here I'm uh, continually pushing towards Sover Gap. 
I've realized that if you want to go straight to Cyberkin, the problem is that it's a city, so they have a good defense. Also, they're fortified. So your strategy should be to go to at the Hex right next to Cyberkin instead. But first, I'm focusing on some more attacks down here. Now, fighting this tank was actually not necessary because the tank is out of supply, so I didn't necessarily need to go and attack it. But you also can, like, why not? I'm using set piece attack on an enemy tank. First, I wanted to tank just sort of ran away. I wanted to like hit him again with some other unit, but the tank was like, nope. I'm gonna run away from you. Uh, some faint attacks just because I have the ability, so why not? I've decided to move the tank like towards Strasbourg. Also, keep making sure that the. You know, the unit under server guard are essentially out of supply where you can. I did some supply to my unit. And I'm gonna push closer towards server, okay? So that next turn I can actually take control of the hex we need. I'm using the airstrike on them already, which again doesn't really do much at this point, but. Where the shot could have been better. Now here I've moved my enemies away, but I've also ensured that with the zone of control, they still wouldn't be able to go to my like uh, Nancy supply or anything like that because the zone of control is still big enough. Just want to make sure that you kind of keep an eye on that. Then I'm adding some supply hubs to make sure that all of my units will be in supply. I realized it actually can do that, so I only prepared one supply hub, hub there like for later. And I'm gonna be removing some other supply hubs so that next turn I can make sure my units are in supply. And just adding some steps. Some armor steps, infantry steps, engineer, things like that. You've got it, so why not use it? Now they destroyed the bridge near Saverga, which essentially meant they outsupplied themselves. Doesn't really matter too much. We need to, at this point, we really need to focus towards uh, the hex between Cyberbroken and uh, Sir Lautern so that we can outsupply mats. That's really important. You need to get that on this turn. So I've used feigned attack and then did a one. One two with my tank. Then I've, I'm able to move in. And this as a result will also out supply both mats and Solartern, which is really important. Now also note that you don't actually need to take control of Sarbroken. I kind of realized it a little too late, so I fought there quite a bit and I was like, oh, nobody cares about this. Never mind. But yeah. I mean, at the end of this, uh, this is a map where I'd highly recommend that you, after you take all the objectives, you take the additional like four turns that you've got to kill as many enemies as you can to level up your own units. So in that regard, it was actually a good idea that I took over the Cyberkin anyways, but um, it, it wasn't necessary. I maybe wasted a few attacks while focusing on that. Uh, you're going to see it next turn or the turn after that when I actually do that. I'm doing some faint attacks on the city and you know just trying to push them because you cannot out supply the people in Strasbourg so you need to make sure that you sort of start hitting them up fairly early so you know you, you can you can weaken them enough to actually be able to kill them off by the time it's um your turn okay at this point I've out supplied the people in Silver Gap And I'm just finishing off this tank here. I 
And I've said that the bridge out of supply the people in Savagar, but actually didn't. I think it's because it's still one hex away from the supply hub, like right before the bridge. So that's why. Maybe they've got some supply hub in the back that we don't see right now. Yeah, uh, so yeah, so I said that wrong. They actually, I out supplied them by placing the tank there, right above Strasbourg, but they weren't out supplied before. And at this point, I'm trying to do some damage near mats, hit off some enemy units where I could, you know, with suppressive fire and things like that, just to weaken them up a little bit. I'm just checking my supply, like, it, does everyone have enough supply, things like that. And they do. All right, time for next turn. And it's important that you keep that tank there on the unit between Sarlauten and Cyborgan. Uh, so sometimes you might want to use even things like no retreat. I didn't have enough points for that anyways. Now we kill off the unit next to Metz. So now I'm stepping there with my other infantry and completely surrounding Metz. This is technically not necessary because the enemy is out of supply anyway. But I wanted to be sure just in case the enemy sort of manages to do something to my tank. There was like... Let's just be certain and surround the people in Metz. Also, the one thing that it helps with is that the unit in Metz cannot move away anywhere. So if we manage to make it retreat, it's going to be cornered and it will be use all of their steps, which is nice. Then I killed the other units that was fully for surrounded um, sort of in the middle. And now we're moving more towards Strasbourg. And trying to get there. I was contemplating whether I want to wait next and I was like, you know what, let's just take it. As you know, I take a bit riskier hits, mostly because I can. You could have waited one more turn, done it without the damage on the tank, but... You probably know if you watch my guides that I consider a 1-1 a good deal. We're doing suppressive fire. It's important to check often whether actually set piece attack is worth it because generally if we talk about it in guides you always say like set piece attack is the big thing right because that's the thing that costs you movement that's the most expensive thing and that usually does the more most things because it lowers the fortification things like that but but uh, sometimes, like right now with the server, it's actually more effective to do suppressive fire because it does some crazy damage. Like it suppresses three or four steps, and then you can just take the next unit and finish the enemy off. So that can be better than the set piece attack, and you can move your unit away. So it's important to kind of check that. I wanted to check if I could take a uh, Cyberkin. And as you see now, I'm using the set piece attack. And this is what I talked about previously. Like, I didn't need to bother with this at all. Like, I took it and I, yeah, but I could have just used the tank to attack the people and uh, Solarton or other places like that. I realized a little too late that it's not something that I needed to do. Yeah, I moved the tank away towards uh, Kaiserlautern, but it actually wasn't necessary. We're going to move it back uh, by the end of this turn because the tank is there out of supply and you need him in supply. And also you need somebody there at Sorlautern to be able to destroy it. So we're going to move it straight back very soon. I'm trying to figure out uh, where I could move my units closer to Metz so that on the next turn, because the, the next turn is the final turn for both Metz and Salaten. So you want to make sure that your units are close and you can sort of, you know, rotate them and get them to attack whenever necessary. So I'm trying to move some of those away. Now I checked here the suppressive fire, but the odds are really bad. And uh, I didn't want to risk ruining the city because then the odds for everything would be even worse. And uh, since you only have one turn left, we can't really afford it. So that's also why I didn't use like an airstrike on mats or anything like that. I move my other tank towards Solarton and then the tank near Kaiserlautern is going to be moved back right about now when I realize, oh, it's out of supply, I need to move it and then like, okay. 
Actually, before I do that, I first try to check add some steps everywhere, but I can't, so that's, you know. And now we're going to do the supply. Yeah, so I'm just going to take the... I, I don't... I actually do have other supplies, so I could have moved some there, but I just realized, you know, well, let's just move the tank back, because this is kind of when I realized, oh, I actually have to take some alert, and I completely forgot about it. I was like, oh, so let's, let's fix that. But it's not going to be a problem, so I don't have to worry. And so they're all out of supply for Tutan, so they actually can't hit you, but they, they're still own the objectives. All right, now we've managed to take a sort of low turn. Uh, so we're going to hit some of the enemies more while we can. Now we got pretty lucky with the retreat, but you do have other units there, so you would be able to finish them off. They retreated immediately for me, so I got it a bit easier, but you shouldn't. You have, you have infantry, two tanks, and the first infantry that did the set piece attack, so it shouldn't be a big problem to get it. Now as for mats, uh, I'm just checking the odds first. Obviously no odds are good enough, so we're going to be using set piece attack here. Here I'm going to do that because it lowers the, the entrenchment, but again make sure that you use it with the right unit. The one I checked first would be a really bad decision, so. This one's the best. I'm going to use it with this one. Managed to breach them a little bit. So we did the 1-1, one, one. then we've got some 2-1, which we would have taken if it was necessary, but I realized I've got one more unit that if I could just move it in, I could do a 1-1, one, one. but, um, so I moved away with this unit because I thought if I moved there with the other unit, I'm going to have 1-1, one, one. it wasn't the case, I kind of mislooked at that, so we're going to have to move some other units away first, but that's, that's all right. Started to focus my attention near Strasbourg next. And then we're going to come back to Mats in a moment. Yep. So we've got a 2-1 here. I was like, I'm just going to move away and then I can move back. You actually can't move back because it costs uh, too much movement to move back and forth on that particular hex. But uh, it wasn't necessary in the end. Anyway, so we do a 1-1 one, one here. And then they would have retreated, but because they're cornered, because they're surrounded, they can, so they become cornered. So I can just attack them normally with any other units here. You also have the airstrike and you have like two more infantry units that could have helped if needed. All right, so we've taken over Met. So at this point we have taken over everything. Yep. So I'm just going to skip ahead till the end because I'm taking all the time here to kill off some of the leftover units. I'd highly recommend that you do that as well and, you know, like level up your units as much as you can. Alright, so we're at the end. I have uh, gone up to turn 10 to hit the enemies as much as I could. We have gotten the victory and we've also gotten out of Kufra as a special achievement. I've gotten here double stars on the map for Lorraine, which I don't really know how is that or what exactly does that mean. So if you know, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, write it down in the comments. And I'll see you in Belfort Gap. Bye-bye.